Welcome to Hobby Science Lab. Hobby's TV. We're ready to open up this boot. We're gonna slice and dice. Only Hobby Pop is. <laughs> We've got the Hobby Kids waiting over there, and Hobby Papa is going to slice A open boot. this cowboy boot. Yeehaw! Don't ever, ever try this at home. Hobby Science Lab. Keep watching, there's a surprise inside this cowboy boot. Leather, you're smelling the leather. Smelling the leather. Smell the leather. Okay, we're gonna finish up. Ooh, ooh, look, it's sparking. Ooh, there's metal inside there. Oh, that's what was making it spark, the metal in there. What does it smell like? See that? Ugh. Kind of smells like wood, but it's actually layers of leather that they, they build together. And you see the piece of metal plate they put inside the boot to keep it solid, to keep the heel strong. Looks like it's pretty well made. Very well made. This is a beautiful boot that's made out of solid leather sole. Very soft, comfortable leather. Yeah, it's very soft. And it's got the metal plate and the heel. You see it goes from the heel down through the arch of the foot. And that's what keeps your arch held up. And it's made by Billy Boots. <laughs> like that name. Do you think this is real snake skin? I don't think that's snake skin, but I think it's... Oh, maybe uh, alligator. It could have had uh, some type of a reptile. Possibly. It could be possibly a bird. It's alligator. Yeah, it could be alligator. Or ostrich. I don't know. We'll ask our viewers. Okay, hobby fans, what kind of leather do you think that is? Snake. So here's what a boot looks like when you cut it in half. Come on, hobby kids, let's check this out under a microscope. Here's the history of the cowboy boot. No one really actually knows who the original inventor of the cowboy boots was. According to several different stories and legends, the first pair of cowboy boots was made by either a shoemaker in Kansas or by one in Texas. Either way, the story is still the same. After the Civil War was over in 1865, the cowboys who were driving cattle across the country discovered that they needed a different style of boot. The ones that were worn during the war just didn't suit the long hours riding on the trails, blazing through the brush and brambles, splashing through creeks and rivers, and riding with their feet in stirrups for hours at a time. So around 1870, some ingenious cowboy took his boots to a shoemaker and asked for a pointy toe so he could get his foot into the stirrup more easily. A taller shaft to protect his legs and a bigger, thicker, underslung heel so his foot wouldn't come out of the stirrup during the rough riding on the trails. The knee-high design protected his legs from the thorns and mesquite trees, barbed wire, snakes, and other dangers. The cowboy boots were pulled on with long mule ear straps but were loose enough on the top so they could be wiggled out of easily if the cowboy was hung up in the stirrup and needed to get out in a hurry. Cowboy boots are normally made from cowhide leather, but are also sometimes made from exotic skin such as alligator, snake, ostrich, lizard, eel, elephant, stingray, elk, and buffalo. After seeing this boot, what animal do you think these boots were made out of? Hobby pig. Did Hobby you pig. catch a boot? Yep. A half a boot, huh? I catched one. <laughs> Look at this here. Ready? Huh? Yeehaw! <laughs> Looks like you got cowboy boots on. <laughs> Gotta check out what's in that boot. Now for the surprise. Only boot in the world that has a surprise. A transforming egg Baymax! Yeah, that's awesome! And what was inside of our boot today? We got Baymax, an armor suit. Is it a Baymax egg? Mm-hmm. Oh, it looks like an egg. It is. That's adorbs. <laughs> oh, poor Baymax. His legs fell off. Oh! 
Baymax is saving time! Let's go today! If you didn't know what he said, subscribe today. Hobby Science Lab.